Hello, this is Scott Pacino, editor of telecoms.com here at MWC 2023, and I'm delighted to be speaking to Arnie from Mavenir. So, Arnie, I know from talking to you earlier that um, partners is a big theme for you and your company at the show, so perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about that. Thanks for having me on. I know it's been a busy week. Um, yes, why partners for us, right? I'd say compared to some of the larger companies, for us it's not just a matter of necessity, it's also a matter of choice. Uh, partners are important for us for several reasons. One of them is, of course, being more competitive in the market. Uh, so there are technology partnerships that we work on that help us build a more competitive portfolio. The second one, I would say, are strategic partnerships which allow us to differentiate in the market, whether it's in terms of the kind of propositions we have, the business models that we support, the scaling elements that we can drive. And last but not the least, in order for us as a company of roughly 5,000 people with a fairly broad portfolio to get them out to more than 300 plus service providers and hundreds and thousands of enterprises, we need go-to-market partners as well. So absolutely, it's a matter of, of survival. Okay, so it sounds like uh, you've invested a lot of, sort of time and, and effort into uh, the partnership side of things. Perhaps you could uh, drill down a little bit and tell us a bit more about how you structure it, how, how your strategy, how you go about it. I'm going to sound a bit pedantic, but it, it's probably best to visualize, uh, visualize our partnerships in, in kind of four quadrants. So if you start at the leftmost, you think about building first. The second quadrant would be how do you cloudify what you build? The third is how do you augment your internal capabilities to build these kind of products in a good way? Because you don't have infinite resources as an organization. And the final quadrant I would say is how do you scale deployments and scale your market reach? So if I focus maybe on the first quadrant, which is build, we work with some of the biggest technology majors in the industry, likes of let's say Intel for instance, or Nvidia to VMware to, uh, to, to AMD, uh, Qualcomm. These are folks and organizations that are funding co-development efforts and putting in a lot of effort together with us in building really differentiated products. The second part is, as, as a cloud-first company, uh, for us it's imperative that we are able to really drive differentiation in terms of a faster adoption of public and private clouds into the network infrastructure business that allows for scaling efficiencies, business economic viability, and really more quicker adoption of newer technologies and, and mitigating technology obsolescence. So in the Cloudify dimension, we work pretty much with all the three large web scalers. So uh, AWS, uh, Google, uh, as well as, as Microsoft. And I think the collaboration with, with the web scalers is, is fundamentally about proving that network functions and capabilities have an equal place in the whole cloud ecosystem, just as, as IT applications do. The third part is relatively more uh, traditional which is augmenting internal capabilities with partners that supply us with engineering support or insourcing, let's say, some additional service support where we lack you know, competence or, or heads. But the last part I would say is extremely critical for a company our size. So even though we currently have about 250 service provider customers and dozens of enterprise customers, we have ambitions to service and serve more markets, more segments. And that's not something that we'd like to do by investing and doubling down on growing our direct sales force. So to work with system integration partners that help us in the go-to-market dimension of things is absolutely a must, not just a nice to have for us. Okay, um, the, just one sort of final question. Um, it's easy to talk a good game about um, partnerships and you've, you've mentioned a lot of big companies there. Do you have any sort of specific illustrations that, that sort of prove that your approach to partnership is effective? It is, and I'm, I'm not really a fan of cliched PRs, and I'm sure you're swamped and deluged this week and, and, and the preceding week of the Mobile World Congress with everyone's working with everyone else, and it's like one gigantic group hug. Uh, for us, PR is more a consequence and an outcome and a happy consequence of some real work that we are doing with some of these partners. And uh, just as a proof point, as you can see, we are maybe just doing logos of some of the partner constellations here, but we are not demoing stuff in our book. Right. 
we felt the real proof, uh, let's say, uh, that would substantiate the depth to which we are collaborating with these companies would be if they voluntarily showcase some of the collaborative efforts in their, uh, you know, halls and booths. So just to call out a couple of things, uh, one of the biggest partnerships that I really want to put a spotlight on is the whole dimension of the Cloudify principle. So we are working very closely, like I said, with all three web scale partners, but AWS is a very, very critical partner of ours, and I hope we are for them too. What we have done with AWS is pretty much the entire network stack, uh, starting from uh, uh, the open RAN or the virtualized RAN environment of the CUDU, to the completely fully automated packet core, to our messaging solutions, to voice over uh, uh, LTE or VONR and IMS capabilities, to messaging and even our BSS, the entire network stack is on AWS. And if you walk over to the AWS booth, what you'll see is we have, we have collaborated together to not just port what are traditionally monolithic, appliance-oriented network infrastructure elements in a very cloud-friendly, uh, seamless way onto a public cloud, but we have really leveraged, I load that term, but we have actually leveraged their vast experience in automating workloads and managing, you know, spin up, spin down, auto scaling, all of the, 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 the real beneficial elements of the public cloud to show that it's as easy as a single click of the button and you have a live network up and running. So that's, that I think is, is, is a tremendous proof point, it hasn't been done before. Uh, the second, I think what, what I'd like to call out is uh, we are selectively doing our own hardware. We are a software first uh, company, but we decided to, to start working on a few uh, radio platforms to really accelerate the growth of the ecosystem. So we've focused on where, what we felt were some gaps in the industry in terms of availability of radio hardware, especially in the massive MIMO space. So we have worked with leaders in the industry like AMD and Qualcomm to come up with what we believe is an industry first in terms of truly power efficient massive MIMO radios. And that's something that we are showcasing in the Vodafone booth, booth as, a, as a demo. So we have plans together with actual customers and our partners to really roll out what are real products, not just lip service to the whole idea of an ecosystem. Okay, that's great, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.